as much as we would love to have rain in the morning, it is beneficial for it to come later on. So the mm -hmm. morning commute, not too much of a big issue. Yeah, but for the afternoon commute, mm -hmm. like yesterday, some of you will have some heavy downpours to contend with. So just be mindful on the drive home later today. That means low visibility is the potential for gusty winds. And like yesterday, standing water in a few spots, I get these hefty downpours. Yeah, so that story is going to continue for the next couple of days. Right now, though, mainly dry umbrella later, sunglasses this morning. This is Sky 5 Live overlooking the Music City from the Batman building over to the 505 building. There's the Tennessee Tower and a couple of the new ones. I think that's the Alcorn or Alcove uh, that is going up near the YMCA in downtown Nashville for us and at Skyline continues to grow. So let's show you what is up for the day ahead. Patchy fog, it's humid for you this morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. We'll do the story again for you tomorrow. Here's the breakdown for today. We expect another 90 degree plus day, 94 3 in Nashville. A little breezy at times with the wind southwest at about 10 to 15. Muggy meter, it's that air you can wear for the next couple of days here in the mid south. 93 in Nashville, but the heat index will be near the 100 degree mark this afternoon. Meanwhile, in Livingston, the fair continues through Sunday, 84 at 5 o'clock, so about a 4 in 10 chance at a shot at a shower at that point. That's down to 20% when things are wrapping up on the midway. Meanwhile, it's West Tennessee that remains under the threat for a heat advisory where Nikki D once again, the heat index there over 105 for a couple of hours this afternoon. That's not saying the rest of us won't deal with a heat index over 100, but that's what we do have it hitting the criteria. Sky 5 Live giving us that pretty view. I mean, look at that. Even from a distance without being zoomed in, you could spot the city and as Leland pointed out, it is forever changing of a skyline and that green lush grass and spots with almost some browns patches because of the lack of rain. As we head throughout the first half of the day, we're going to be on the drier side of things. But as we go throughout the afternoon, that's when scattered showers and thunderstorms will develop. Right now, the newest models are indicating the bulk of the rain today will be north of I-40. I know that's not exactly what you want to hear, especially if you're closer to the Alabama Tennessee state line. We're not limiting it here, but that's where it's looking to take shape with some lingering showers overnight. Now, as we make our way into tomorrow afternoon, this is going to be more widespread with showers, thunderstorms all across Middle Tennessee as well as Southern Kentucky. As we make our way into Friday, that's when the cold front's going to move in and just hover down to our south. So our severe storm threat today, tomorrow and Friday is a one out of five. These are generic thunderstorms. But with this does come the intense rainfall rates as well as gusty winds and the potential for small hail. Flood watch wise over into Cumberland, Clinton counties. Y'all are still under that watch because of all the rain you have had. And of course, we'll keep an eye on how things do develop. But you can tell we're looking to see one to three inches as we go throughout the next few days as a whole. Similar situation today and tomorrow. And then Leland, that cold front moves in for the weekend. Yeah, but it will keep rain chances going for Saturday and for Sunday. But it doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, sleeting, whatever. The school buses are out and about. Thank you so much to Eric Watkins for having me out over in Stewart County, particularly over in the Dover area. He's the transportation supervisor where I got to visit with all of the school bus drivers. They're the first person these children see in the morning and the last one they see before they go home. They really are the gatekeepers and they do such a fantastic job. So we're praying for a very safe.